this is the new Frank and Covey Chelsea planner. It is the compact size and I just wanted to do a quick video of it before I start using it because I am ready to start using it now. So um, I've taken it out of the package and as you can see it's got these beautiful um, roses or flowers on them. I think it's really pretty. Uh, it is leather and again like I said it's compact. open it for you so you can take a look at it. I'm one handed here because I've got my camera in my other hand I'm trying to keep it still so um, it does come with these two uh, hardcover inserts which I really do love these it makes it easy for me to for my paper to not um, bend a whole lot or for me to have to put a front cover in it if I don't want to it's a 1.2 inch ring size for the binder and <clears throat> this is the regular little tab that comes in it and it's Chelsea leather so let's just take a look here you've got the pin loop it does have a little stretchy part here on the back and you've got it uh, flap here we can insert your papers and you've got a zip and that's a pretty good size you've got three card covers and then an extra cover here a little I mean I have three card insert pockets and then the extra pocket here and on the back you have a little tab here now I know I do prefer when they have sorry when they allow us to actually put a um, notepad in the back but I got something I ordered something that will basically take the place of that so I don't have to worry about it this is the swing pad refills and I have a swing pad from when I first um, purchase Franklin Covey and it basically if you're not familiar with what a, sw a swing pad is it it attaches here inside of the rings and then you put your notepad in the swing pad and it basically opens out just like how this picture looks here so it'll be sitting next to your actual uh, insert pages so yeah that is the uh, the Chelsea binder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, fill it up with all of my, look at this, I really think this is pretty. It's so pretty to have all these flowers on here. Um, and I really think it's beautiful because these are my, this is what I got to go with it. So, all the beautiful flowers. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like and I'll also post some pictures on my Instagram. So, and my Instagram is being Mrs. Mom. Alright, so thanks for watching. I'll be back in a few. So I know that some people look at uh, the starter pack online and they wonder what comes in it. So I all, I purchased the Bloom starter pack and I'm just going to go through it so you can see what all comes in it. Let me switch hands here. Sorry for the shaking. Um, so you can see what comes in it. So this is for the compact size. And as you can see, it has the page finder. It has the notes, uh, the little tabs, sticky, so you can put them on there. And as you can see, they give you extra so you can write on them. And you can put whatever you want. And then they come with the weekly compass cards. And I'm not sure if you know how to use these. Um, but this is a fantastic tool. That's why I always make sure that I, even though I'm just switching sizes, I always make sure that I buy the starter pack. So it comes with the compass cards. And I believe they have stuff on the back of them. Let me make sure. Oh, this one has notes. I have a set of compass cards that actually have a uh, work task on the back of them. But that's, it's kind of old. So maybe they changed it. Um, and then the ways to reorder form and this is really great information to have inside of your planner it helps you to learn the frankly cover and these, this
this is a planner guide. It helps you to learn the Franklin Covey system. And I believe it also talks about using the weekly compass cards. And then it walks you through your value system, um, learning your how to make your purpose statement, I believe. Um, it's a whole set of how to get started with Franklin Covey. Your personal mission statement, your goals, goal planning. Um, okay, so let me pull this out a little bit so I can... In here. Okay, so this is the goal sheet, and it's based on your value, your mission, your roles, you know, okay. This, this material is priceless, and it's only like seven, eight, I think I paid eight ninety five for this. Okay, and then you've got your monthly expense tracker, you've got your monthly budget worksheet, You've got your yearly income and expense tracker, automobile information and servicing, personal information, medical record. Oh, and on the personal information, you know, date of birth, things like that. Your medical record information, special days, birthdays, website tracking. Numbers, frequently used numbers, height, uh, weight measurements. Then you've got a little bit of phone records. And then it jumps into the planning calendar section. So this is, you know, it, you will put your... So I have the weekly planner here, right? And what you would do is you would put the planner calendar section underneath there in your binder. So that when you open it up, you know, then you're in your planner calendar section. And then it has your planner guide. And that was the section that I talked to you about. Uh, let me pull it out. Sorry, I'm a righty. So I have to hold it and hold my, my phone in my other hand. Just trying to make this quick video. So, okay, here's the planner guide. So this guide would go behind this section here and you would keep that in your planner on a regular to remind you of sticking to the Franklin Covey system. Because remember, all of the things that we're doing with a planner, they're really great for, you know, um, aesthetically they look good and you're happy to have them, but they're, it's about keeping you on task. It keeps me on task. I know it really helps me. So, and then the next section is for your values and your mission. You're supposed to keep that with you as well. And then you've got your goals, your finances, your key information. And then these are some of those tabs that you put on there, whether it be uh, different projects or meal planning or whatever that is, you would have that in there. So this is how I keep my planner. Um, I every time I purchase, every time I purchase a um, a, a new size or I'm going into a new year I make sure that I have all these tabs available for me to use because they're very very helpful so yeah I'd really recommend that you go and you get the um, the starter set it says the master plan starter set here it is right here